I will be explaining to you about the sleeping barber problem. First the scenario. Consider a barber shop where there is only one barber, one barber chair and a number of waiting chairs for the customer. When there are no customers, the barber sits in the barber chair and sleeps. When a customer arrives, he awakes the barber or waits in one of the vacant chairs. If the barber is cutting someone else's hair. When all the chairs are full, the newly arrived customer simply leaves. Now, uh, in this scenario there are many associated problems. There might be a scenario in which the customer ends up waiting on a barber and a barber waiting on the customer which would result in a deadlock. Then there might also be a case of starvation when the customers don't follow an order to cut hair as some people won't get hair cut even though they had been waiting long. For this there is a semaphore solution which I will be explaining to you. The solution to these problems involves the use of three semaphores. They are customers, they help count the waiting customers, barber, to check the status of the barber if he is idle or not, access seats, a mutex which allows the customers to get exclusive access to the number of free seats and, and allows them to increase or decrease the number. Number of, free set, number of free seats to keep the count of the available seats so that the customer can either decide to wait if there, are, there is a free, free seat or leave if there are none. Now I will explain the semaphore code to you. When the barber first comes to the shop, he looks out for any customers. Calls P of customers. If there are none, he goes to sleep. Now when a customer arrives, the customer tries to get access to the access seats mutex. That is, he calls P of access seats, thereby setting a lock. If no free seat is available, he releases the lock, does a V of access seats and leaves the shop. If there is a free seat, he first decreases the number of free seats by 1 and he calls V of customers to notify the barber that he wants to cut. Then the customer releases the lock on the access seats mutex by calling V of access seats. Meanwhile, when V of customers was called, the barber awakes. The barber locks the access seats mutex and he wants to increase the number of free seats available as the just arrived customer may sit on the barber's chair if that is free. Now the barber releases the lock on the access seats mutex so that the other customers can access it to see the status of the free seats. The barber now calls V of barber, that is he tells the customer that is available to cut. The customer now calls P of barber, that is he tries to get exclusive access of the barber to cut his hair. The customer gets a haircut from the barber and as soon as he is done, the barber goes back to sleep if there are no more customers or waits for the next customer to alert him. When another customer arrives, he repeats the above procedure again. If the barber is busy, then the customer decides to wait on one of the free waiting seats. If there are no customers, then the barber goes back to sleep. This is the entire explanation of the whole procedure of the sleeping barber problem code using semaphores. Now we will be showing you a skit of the above problem and scenario. Hey, Mr. Barber, I need a haircut. The barber is busy cutting the hair, so I will wait. Are you busy? I think I should wait. Such a long queue.
Barber is busy and the meeting room is full. I think I'll go out and come later. How much? Next is you. Twenty rupees. Say your name. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. There's no customers here. Let me go back to sleep.